Black Desert, wait, no. Wait, no, there's Black Desert Online, Keck W? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you like running around in circles? Yes. How about spending money? Yes. No? Big titty anime wife is yes. wearing porn star attire, screaming whilst massacring hundreds of creatures in seconds. Ooh. Yeah, that can be fun. How about casinos? Oh, is that a hacker? You ever been to one? No yes, need. I this game's got art. you covered. Giant open world, life skills, get on a big fucking ship and wow. sail across the ocean. What? Fun gamer words. Open world PvP, My Little Pony Simulator. That's crazy. Three different optional sub fees. Castle sieges, world bosses, player housing, That's random cool. number generation. Spend 500 hours grinding with absolutely nothing to show for it. Pay I did for this. convenience. Black Desert Online for years has been one of the most polarizing games in the MMORPG space. Yeah, it sure Some has people been. absolutely despise it, whilst for others, it's the only game they play. Because they're fucking addicted. This piece of shit. That's true. That's very, very fucking true. Here's the thing, right? It's like, I absolutely fucking love BDO. I feel like BDO is like one of those games. It's kind of like Lost Ark, where I, I feel like Lost Ark's combat and movement and stuff like that are like really, really good. And like BDO's world and like the graphics in the game look great. I mean, the game just fundamentally, I think, looks really, really good. And I, I like it a lot, but I mean, fuck. It it's like, I mean, I already, like, we're going to have to do a new, we're going to have to do another honing stream soon, guys. Like, I'm, I'm looking to get up to 1490 in like the next week or so. Like, go, getting all the way up to 1490, level up all my weapons to, to put fucking uh, all my armor to plus 20. It's going to be lit, man. It's going to be great. Probably do that in, uh, maybe ne maybe this week coming up, a and I'll be ready to go. Our character. Yeah, don't you guys want our character to be 1490? Come on. Game cost me more money and time than I'd like to admit, but it also gave yeah. me some of my best MMO memories from the past 10 years. I had fun BDO is game like too. a toxic relationship that you can't leave because the sex is sometimes good and you've invested too much time and money. Recently, the game dropped a brand new expansion with a new class, new zone, and other stuff, so I jumped back in to see if it's any good. Okay. Dragon Raja. It's a massively popular open world MMO on mobile that lets you create your dream waifu, drive motorbikes and cars, block traffic, shoot some hoops, team up with friends to take down massive bosses, and build your ideal home with the best player housing I've ever seen on mobile. That's cool. And now it's the perfect time to jump in as a new player or return to the game if you've played before. That's Dra actually such a good game to like get like girls into it and just get them spending money. Like, you know, get like these like bored housewives that will like make a house and spend like ten thousand dollars. Like they'll like spend ten thousand dollars of like their husband's fucking money on like building a house in a video game instead of actually, you know, improving the house that they that they literally live in. Like yeah, this is great. I mean I, I love this idea. Dragon Raja has just launched the biggest welcome and return event in the game's history. You see, World of Warcraft is actually doing a competition and they're making it to where they're trying to be the last game that has player housing. And so if there is ever a game that comes out, Blizzard has to wait until after that game does player housing for them to consider it. New and existing players get a big progression boost with a lot of XP, oh, gold, bad day orange for that quality to be the gear, case. level 11 gems, limited outfits, and more. This event is for a limited time only though, so don't miss out, download and claim those rewards right now. Dragon yeah. Raja has had a lot of updates since it first launched. The newest update introduces an 11th playable class called the Floromancer. New wow. story, new PvE challenges, new events, and much more. I haven't seen In addition, seen any the game also allows game you to be a chef, a superstar, open your I... own shop, become an in-game photographer, <laughs> PvP with other <laughs> players, customize vehicles, and even get married. This game has something for everyone, and it's now available to download on PC too. So click the link in the description. <laughs> Description below to download Dragon Raja and use the coupon codes for exclusive rewards. Download now. Starting out, I jumped onto the oh, global wow. test server where I made a max level character Here for the go. new class called Drakana. Bit of a weird name, but apparently in the lore she has the power of dragons inside of her. If it wasn't for the preview armor- Wait, so Blizzard stole this one too? Damn, bro, look at that! though, you wouldn't be able to tell. She looks like every other female character in the game, and her abilities are mostly electricity. 
I guess she's more of a blue eyes white dragon kind of girl. I logged into a level 1 Drakana to check out the newly updated new player experience. Okay. This time you start in the city of Duvencroon rather than Velia, which didn't make a whole lot of sense to me considering all the monsters in this region are fairly high level. I started out with the usual talk to NPC and spam R key, then a cutscene with mediocre voice acting. Come to the haven of slumbering origin at the mountain of eternal winter. This new class has a costume on by default. What does its normal armor look oh like without God. the costume? Fucking cool sword. She reminds me of like a Lost Ark paladin, but female. I can really feel the weight behind her sword slashes. I actually think her sword looks cooler without the skin. The skin's a little bit too much. Next, yeah, it looks a little bit dumb. Dex was taken. Thanks to the five good subs. I appreciate that. It looks nice. I just like, as I said, I don't like playing girl characters, so I don't know if I'd ever played this before. We met a little furry fox humanoid Thanks. who introduced himself by breaking the third wall. Why is no one taking my quest? Is the reward not substantial enough? So, brand new player starting experience. Immediately we're running about 200 mile an hour. The best thing about this game is the fact that you can auto run. Same speed as a horse. Probably gonna confuse new players a little bit, isn't it? It's been about a year and a half since I last played Black Desert at this point. I was really getting the BDO itch about three months ago. Like really considering coming back to the game because I wasn't maining any I've MMOs about playing at the it time. Too. But then Lost Ark came out and it kind of scratched a similar yeah. kind of itch. But oh, now I've been playing Lost money. Ark for two months. I miss yeah. third person MMOs again. So kind of getting the BDO slash new world itch again. I just love being immersed in massive open world third person MMOs, really. After I mean, to be fair, the game looks pretty nice. I mean, I, I think it does. Uh, th that's, I think, probably one of the biggest selling points about it is the game does look nice. I like it. After running from NPC to NPC, smashing that R key, I eventually arrived at the oh, new snowy zone, the Mountain of Eternal it's Winter. R in this game, and not honestly, G. my first impressions were a bit lackluster. Visually, yeah. the environment looks exactly the same as the other zones during the winter seasonal events. I saw a lot of reused cool. assets, a lack of interesting points of interest in the distance, and questing through this place was mind-numbing. This new player experience has been a bit bizarre so far. I've just run from NPC to NPC, talking to them. Haven't done any combat in about 15 minutes of questing and playing the game. So, yeah, no wonder this guy quit Final Fantasy the first time. <laughs> Yeah, no wonder. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, there you go. And and there's a lot of people, right? And like, think about it, right? This is the same dude that probably dropped a thousand hours in the new world, the same as I did, right? And so like, we he just likes that kind of a game. You know, game you just get on and you play the fucking game. It is what it is. It's acceptable. It's, it's understandable. If I was a brand new player to Black Desert, I don't think I'd be overly impressed. About 20 yeah, minutes into the new player experience, I'm finally going to get the chance to fight something. Wow. Bit weird. Let's get the chance to check out this new class. I love the animations of this class. You can really feel the weight of her weapon. It feels so- See, so, like, whenever he says feel the weight of her weapon, I'm thinking, man, she's attacking really slow. Like, I'm sorry, but like, this, like, this is so slow. Holy shit heavy. Like pretty much every class in BDO, expertly animated. I don't know if I just remember Black Desert as being a better looking game than it actually is, but I really wasn't impressed with the visuals of the new zone. Dude, am I on max nice graphics? Or does the game look more outdated nowadays? Like, what? High remastered. Seriously? Okay. I remember the game having better graphics than this. Maybe it's because I'm in the snowy area and things in the distance. I felt the same way about BDO, and I remember I went back and I watched my, my video of BDO, and it was like, oh my god, like, this is fucking garbage. Like, what the fuck? Like, there was like this well that you had to go down, and there were a bunch of cultists in the well. And it was like Caltheon or something like that. And I remember thinking back whenever I did it, wow, this looks so cool. It's so realistic. This is awesome. And then I went back and I looked at it. I'm like, man, this didn't look as good. As, this doesn't look as good as I thought it did. Wow, that's crazy. Abandoned monastery. Yeah, yeah, there it is just look really low res. Visually, this snowy area looks kind of worse than all of the other zones, honestly. Just look at the mountains in the distance. It looks super low res. It's the first time I've came back to Black Desert and not really been blown away by the graphics. Eventually, the I game like introduced them. me I to the first unique BDO quest I've seen in Kill years. Em. A stealth quest. 
Come Basically, on. just crouch and don't stand in the giant red circles from the mobs. Not too hard, but I still managed to fuck it up somehow. Kill him. Honestly, the rest of this new new player experience MSQ was so fucking boring that I don't want to talk about it anymore. There's hardly any combat, just run around auto-pathing to NPCs, spamming R, and watch a cutscene every now and again. It felt like a mobile game, and I couldn't- It felt like Final Fantasy or Lost Ark. There's a lot of games that are like this. I mean, to be fair, and it's like, I try to- I, I, I try to play through it. This is what I did with Lost Ark, right? Is I played through the story and I did it authentically. I did it as if I wanted to care about the story and I wanted to care about the characters. And to be honest, I think it made my experience better. I enjoyed the game more because of it. And it's like, yes, it is not. This is not an S tier story, but they still have characters that are interesting and funny. You know, it was, it was still shit, but yes, it was bad, but it's like watching Rocky Horror Picture Show or something like that. Like, yes, obviously it's, it, it, you know, but it's still good. Stop complaining campy, about yeah. it during the recording of this video, but thankfully my editor has cut all of that out. This it whole alternate new player experience yes, has been incredibly boring so far. It feels weird, man. Fuck me. It's like I'm playing a mobile game. That's what it feels like. I'm gonna get a carpal tunnel soon. Like, they've literally designed something worse yeah. than what they had years ago. Well, why? Just press R with my other hand. My left hand is starting to fucking hurt. It feels like- I remember the whole fucking game whenever I started playing it. So I only started playing BDO because an ex-girlfriend made me play the game. So this girl made me play like three or four shitty MMOs. And so I've actually ex had experience with these before. And she was like, if you don't play this game with me, I'm going to block you. And I'm like, well, I mean, all right, fine. I'll try the game out. And so I, uh, yeah, I did. And, and this is the kind, I mean, she was a very, uh, she's a very interesting girl. It was not Izzy. Uh, Izzy, uh, I, I, I try to get her to play. Like I try, you, you know, I asked her, like I was talking to her the other day. I was like, if you ever want to play vampire survivors, she didn't even respond. Like, I, I was literally in a, co a voice conversation, and she just did not even respond. I'm like, you need to fucking, you need to play the game. Like, I, I got Donut Wall the IRL. And so, anyway, so this girl, so she's like, you need to play BDO with me. You don't play any games with me. You don't spend time with me. And, like, you need to play this with me. And I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. Okay, all right. And I'm like, yeah, guys, I got to do some fucking shit, right? And so I go over, and I start playing BDO. And so I level up to her level, and then I wait the next day for her to log on. And to be fair, I was talking to, like, this black ball the whole time. It was just, like, black ball. I felt like I was fucking uh, Tom Cruise talking to Winston. Uh, or, or Wilson, excuse me. And uh, in, in fucking Castaway. I'm just sitting here. I'm like, Wilson, come back! Oh, Wilson, you want me to kill these people? I'll kill them for you, Wilson, of course. You know, Tom Cruise? Oh, yeah, whatever the fuck his name is. Tom Hanks. W whatever, right? Is the, you know, is the guy. And, um, anyways, the, the ping pong guy. And so, yes, the black, the black guy. And, and so, then, after that, the little, the black spirit thing. And, uh, then, so she finally, uh, wakes up that day, and I'm five levels ahead of her. And she's like, well, I'm not going to log on right now. I'm like, okay, I'm going to just keep playing. And then, so after that, I kept playing the game and she actually quit the game because now I was playing it too much and I had out leveled her and I wasn't playing with her anymore. And I'm like, I'm not going to make another character to play with you. Like I, I'm, I started the game. You fucking got me into this. And now like, you don't want to level up to get to where I'm at. Like, well, what the fuck? Right. And, and, and then, yeah, we, then she blocked me and we broke up, but then we got back together and that happened like 50 times. And, and then finally we actually broke up. But like, this is like, uh, this is like act three of like a 10 part play. And, uh, anyway, what, what even fucking was this? Uh, I'm trying to remember. And then, yeah, she got mad at me for it. So I got addicted to the game and, and I started playing this game constantly. And, uh, yeah, that's how I got, I got into Black Desert. I played it. I thought it was, it was good. Right. That's what it was. Asriel, king of online dating. I used to have a copy-paste I would send the girls. 
Like I did, like back in the day, me and Cody would do this. Cody would sit over there and we just fucking copy paste over and over and over to like every girl. Like, hey, I saw your pictures. I think you're really cute. You know, do you want to talk? And like everyone would be like, no, right? But you had like a 3% chance that it would succeed. And that's what we were going with, right? You ask a thousand people, that's like 10 girls. I've been masturbating for about six days. I that's just great. I stop playing. I just fucking don't care. I hate this game so much. Oh my, this is just, I fucking don't want to play anymore. Yep, it's, it's a numbers game, boy. <laughs> Typically, each BDO expansion comes with a new city with new Damn. assets and a new vibe. The new city, Eelton, added with the Mountain of Eternal Winter, this looks, looks like, like an outpost reusing yeah. old assets. It made me start to question if BDO is on maintenance mode, or Pearl Abyss have lowered it significantly on their list of priorities. Jeez, floor texture's taking a while to load. Hello? Floor I don't think it's going to load. I think, I think it did load already. Um, so I think they should just make a new game. I feel like BDO has been out for so long that, like, they need to just make a new game. I'm sorry to say, like, yeah, just make a new game. I know they're making Crimson Desert, but, like, Crimson Desert isn't, like, a, it, it, it's, like, it's not the same, is it? Yeah, it, it, it's not the same. It's, like, a, yeah, it's single player. Yeah, it's a single player game. Who cares about that? Floor texture. Where you at? That's fine. Floor texture. Don't worry. You can have a vacation today. So whilst it's daytime and not snowing, let's take a little tour of this new city in the snowy region. I don't know if you can even call it a city, really. It's really small. It's almost like an outpost. Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's added a whole lot of new environmental assets to the game. It's a lot of reused stuff with snow on top. Oh, a bit I bit disappointed, see. really. Definitely not as interesting as Odraxia. That was a really cool place. If you're a new player, I would advise against choosing the Mountain of Eternal Winter as a starting experience. It was actually more boring yeah, I think the than game the really standard nice. BDO I leveling do. experience, in my opinion. I I'm it was very just easy. Running amused. from NPC to NPC, lots of talking, hardly any combat. It felt like one of those forgettable quest lines that you would just speed through if you've already got a max level character. At this point, I got sick of my own voice complaining do. about the game, so I jumped onto the level 62 Drakana to check out some of the high-end grind spots. And honestly, okay. I think this is the first time I've played a new class in BDO and haven't been blown away. To me, the Drakana feels like a combination of Dark Knight and something else. I felt like I'd already played this class before. Maybe they've just released too many new classes at this point. Maybe there's some reused animations or something. I'm not sure. It just didn't wow me like a new BDO class usually does. I only the played class is okay. It's nothing special. Yep, I, I, I mean, most play classes else in Black Desert are fairly cool. I don't really think the game even needs new classes at this point. Damn, I Seems kill him like fast. something they do to bait existing players into trying it out and buying costumes, to be honest. It's not really something that's going to make the game better. If anything, it probably just results in the PvP being less balanced. With I, would new classes I would agree being with that. Such a big part of their business model. I logged into the live servers for the first time in over 18 months, and I'd forgotten how good some of my character names were. Crabs, Sailor Peon, Pylite, <laughs> Anime Sword, Optimism. That's such a good name. I can't remember any of these character names. Dogecoin. How the hell did I get Dogecoin as a character? Oh my god. That was Dogecoin whenever it was still a meme. Now people are rich because of it. I a name for my sage. Game looks good. Beautiful lighting coming over Jesus. there. Jesus. Sunset. Mr. Crab. Video improved a lot. Man. That's Wait, good. where are the I'm players glad. at? Oh, yeah, I forget. This is a channel based game. Fuck me. I'm on uh, Olvia servers. I set up my character and learned that two new gear slots. Oh, I know where this is. This is at one of the first starting cities. Yeah, and you would go up and there's that, that road, and then there were the vendors on the road. Heidel. Yeah, I remember this. Oh my god. It's been so added long. to the game for something known as artifacts. Doesn't seem to change a whole lot really, That's just crazy. extra it's been stats. Such a long time. I had a quick look at the cash shop. Oh, for alchemy. <laughs> that actually looks pretty fucking cool. Sleepless Sun, wow. I just stole that from Final Fantasy. Like, that's a fucking blue mage. Like, bro, that shit's straight up from Final Fantasy. Like, oh my god. You're not even trying to hide it. That's actually pretty cool. That is one yeah, big It's a, it's a black man. I like it is blue. Costumes, have they? I've just been rocking this since launch. It's one of the best ones, but I don't like the new that. one's pretty cool.
What is that? My character oh, yes. looked way cooler than that. That just screams wizard, doesn't it? Then I yeah, went to do some grinding to remember that. how to play my class. Oh wait, what? Why is the sky gone all dark and murky? What the fuck? I've never seen this weather effect before. That's cool. Is that because we're on an Elvia realm? Let's try and remember how to play this class. It all comes back to you pretty quickly. Im trainers and fighters go berserk. Man, and now I don't fucking further. remember any of this shit. So these grind spots are becoming a little bit more dynamic than they used to be. At That's least they're good. trying to innovate with the grind spots rather than it just being a static run around in circles kind of thing. A somewhat recent addition to BDO is okay. Elvia Realms. This basically turns old grind spots in starting regions such as Serendia to endgame spots with enraged mobs and more dynamic grind mechanics That's on certain good. channels. I like that. My boy Black Spirit wanted to talk to there me. He I spammed is. the R key for ages and he puked rewards all over my face, wow. including starter artifacts. I also had a crap load of RNG boxes and rewards to claim too, so that left my inventory nice and clogged up. On top of I feel like one thing that would probably make me quit this game is this. It would be that I would make backwards progress. Like I said this before, right? Any time that I play a video game and I make negative progress, and I, I like it immediately makes me feel like I'm wasting my time and I just quit. I'm like, this is dumb. I don't want to do it. Like, that's it. I like backwards progress. Yeah, I don't like it. It's, it's just like, it's not. Yeah. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. It's not going to happen. Like feeling an upgrade in lost Ark? No, but like lost Ark is not backwards progress. You understand that? Like, how could you possibly think this is like Lost Ark? I know people have a hate boner for Lost Ark, but don't let that cloud your fucking judgment. It's not like Lost Ark. If you think Lost Ark is bad, go fucking combine two ogre rings in Black Desert and tell me what happens. It's like, imagine you take a fucking... Uh, I've, I don't have two phones. My other phone's over there. Uh, you take two phones and you beat them against each other and then somehow, it's like you have a Samsung uh, Galaxy S8, you have two S8s, and you beat them against each other, and there's a chance that they will turn into an S9. But there's also a chance that they fucking break. Both of them are broken, and nothing happens. That's how it goes. It's a 5% chance. Fuck that. With all that, I got a pop-up for a new UI menu called the Progression Pass. When I first so saw it, I assumed studio. it was some kind of paid That's battle pass thing, but it's not. It just gives you a bunch of tasks bunch of with incremental rewards, eventually leading up to you getting a piece of pen armor and pen weapon for free. Decent really catch-up system for new players, it seems. Okay, I've had enough of grinding. So if I switch to a non-Elvia realm, is the sky normal? Yes, it is. Huh. Nice blue colorful skies. I don't really like playing on the LVO realm. I don't like the sky being all dark and I depressing. I like that. I thought it's it was quite way miserable. Cooler. I like my grind the spots happy and colorful. Cool the, the last time I played BDO, I turned into a real life skill care bear. So I went back to revisit some of the spots I used to spend gathering for hours. I never did any gathering. Killing deers. Ooh, yay. We love killing deers. Ooh, killing sheepies. Ooh, we love killing them. Ooh, another sheepy dead. Yay. Killing cows. Yay. I never did any of this. Life in BDO isn't too bad if you just want to chill out play the economy game and set up your node empire whilst making a good honest living. Sure, you're still running around in circles one way or another, but these circles feel different. They're the kind of circles where you've got the time to look around, get immersed in the world, and smack the sausage to your favourite near Automata hentai on the second monitor. My character's got two different effects around him. It looks like he smells really good, but really bad. It looks like he put on Axe body spray to hide the fact that he didn't shower for two weeks. I don't know how I could possibly ever relate to that. Uh, yeah, no, that's what it is. And uh, it, look, here's the thing, right, is that uh, it does not look like me. And, and so I just like, like, I would want to invest in playing a game like this. But like, I, I don't know. Like, I'm already playing other games. Like, the, the next big MMO that I want to invest my time into is probably going to be Ashes of Creation. 
Like that's it or like the riot one, whichever one kind of comes out first because I'm expecting that Ashes of Creation is probably going to be in a lot of ways a better version of Black Desert. Like Black Desert, one thing that Black Desert has is it has like a huge breadth of like content. Like you have like life skilling, sailing, you know, grinding, world bosses, etc. Right? It's not like there's one or two things. So I'm just I'm kind of just waiting for that. The Riot MMO, yeah, but like we don't know anything about that. I mean, like I'm not gonna fucking write a blank check and say, yeah, this Riot MMO is gonna be so good. What the fuck do I know? It's not even out. At the same time, it's kind of ironic. The MMO of the best combat out there, wait, both the thing I enjoy the most yeah, about it is clicking on plants and animals. It's quite funny, really, isn't it? Oh, great, I'm fucking stuck into the mountain again. Oh, I forgot how fun sailing was. I, I, okay, n nice auto-pathing. Yeah, that's something I do not miss about bartering. Holy oh, shit, that sucks. The boats in this game are a fucking mess. You just get stuck in overlapping boats that are all on top of each other. Wait, so he has to jump over jump off the shore? What that's actually kind of at? funny. My screen. I it like that. That's I tested funny. My luck to get that tier nine Pegasus of my dreams. Succeeding this would flood my brain with dopamine, potentially hooking me back into the game. Okay. Dream horse awakening. Let's go. Good luck. We go again. Yeah, Two point right, eight percent right. success rate is so low. Nah, you get it next time. Failing tier nine You'll get it was next probably time. a blessing in disguise. At this point, I didn't yeah, really know what time, to do, 100%. so I went to check out one of the best solo grind spots in the game, Elvia Realm Orcs. Apparently, you can make between two hundred and fifty and eight hundred mil per hour here, depending on lot. your gear. Okay, I can actually kill him. Ooh, fucking hell, dying, dying. Power of light is now sufficient okay. to purify the black energy no, for no, a certain period of time. Interesting. Okay. Oh no! <clears throat> what happened? I just got fucking wrecked! And I lost two RBF crystals. That's what you get. Mystery Knight has appeared. What is going on here? Mysterious the grind spots knight. like flashing weird colors. That's cool. That's I like that. Oh my god, dude, they're fucking wrecking me. Are they empowered? Oh, run away. Well, they got red names. They hit me too hard. That means they're mad. Me. At this point, I decided to revisit one of my favorite pastimes in BDO from okay. back in the day. Horsing the fuck out of random people. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh, I Wait, love it. Wait, why did he just knock the guy Simon. off? That's the best thing about BDO. A little lolly girl on her horse. Nay, what? nay, motherfucker. Another one. Oh, this person's not AFK. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> He's just running her over? Dude, oh, maybe this game is good. I'm so sorry. This is I'm awesome. Such a dick, but that was the most fun I've had wow. since I started so playing annoying. this game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Their name was Resistances. Shame they didn't have any resistance to horse. Oh, this person's <laughs> got their own horse wagon. Little oh. do they know they're being tailed by a bandit. <laughs> they just turned it wait, around. Just... Bro, wait, what is this, the Wild West? He's oh, just wait, pulling out a gun and horse. shooting this guy. Let's <laughs> catch this one. Oh, I've been hunted. <laughs> oh, yes. Again. Oh, Wait, so could we just have like a, a bunch of people roaming around on horses just shooting people with guns? Yes. That would be pretty cool. Like, I, I've got to say, like, that would be really, really cool. Glorious. It's the best content. High in Black fantasy? Desert. Yeah. Oh no! I got a horse to myself! Oh no, my horse! Oh my, my God. horse! They killed no. him! <laughs> we lost our horse. But we didn't lose our pride. PvP players rejoice. After all these years, there's arena, a new point right? capture yeah. RBF added to BDO, set no. in Valencia City. Of course, to even step foot inside without getting one tapped, you're gonna want to have close to hard capped gear, which is months of grinding. Sorry, new players, this one's not for you, as I very quickly discovered with my pathetic 624 gear score wizard. Oh my god. In all fairness, Black Desert has added some decent content God to the damn. game over the past few years, such as more difficult PvE content and That's dungeons, cool. but nothing that fundamentally would make someone who quit the game in the past want to come back. Here's a list of dev yeah. content currently in the game. My editor has That's played Black Desert stuff. religiously since launch. Hayden, in your opinion, sum up the state of Black Desert in a few words. 
BDL is a game that uh, looks amazing from the outside, but the deeper you look, the more you realize how shallow and superficial everything is. The endless neglect for balance by the developers made PvP almost unplayable, and beside for one dungeon, the PvE is not challenging at all, so you end up mindlessly running around on one spot for hundreds of hours on end. So yeah, the, the game, worst it... thing about that is like which game does not not apply to it's like everybody's thinking like wait That's like lost ark. Wait, that's like wow. Wait, that's like new world. Oh shit Isn't in a great spot right now basically grind for a thousand hours to maybe have a bit of fun in an end game Where the fun you get out of it isn't worth the time you put in yeah things I like about BDO Fun combat, well-designed life skill and node system, big open world, anime bobber, nice graphic. Yes. Things I dislike, pay to win, infinite grind, declining player base, so many UI pop-ups you feel like you've got malware installed, non-existent class balance, even if you get max gear the end game is dead so the grind is pointless, create problem to sell solution, half oh, of the game's content is dead and forgotten. Create problem to sell solution. That is the way every game does microtransactions now. It's like, well, you can't do anything. You've got it. You don't have enough energy. You don't have enough energy. Well, why is there energy? Well, because you need to deal with that. But you don't have energy. Like, what's this? Yeah, I, I, it's like Warframe. That's the way these games do. I, I will look at the Ashes of Creation update thing after awesome. this. Okay, Quick guys. look at the BDO Steam reviews. 73 to 76 Most percent positive. mostly positive. Everything I've said in this video Oops. is wrong and debunked. Whoa. Don't listen to me. Read the reviews for yourself and definitely play the game. Yeah. I'm sure you won't regret it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Follow me on social media. Leave a comment for the algorithm gods. And I'll see you in the next one. Alright, that was a pretty decent video. I, I feel like that was fair enough. Like, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that was a fair video? Uh, a Which fair assessment of the situation of the game? Like, what, what do y'all think? Like, yeah, it was decent enough. Okay, yeah. Um, I, I, I hope that, uh, I, I hope the game gets better. I do. Uh, in my opinion, I feel like BDO is a game that is, I, I think they need to just remake the game. Like, I was hoping Crimson Desert was going to be that remake, man. I really did. But it just ended up not happening. There's a video right there. It just came out. Make sure to give it a like and a, uh, you know, a little, little bit of support to watch. Lazy Peon makes good content. I would recommend watching him. Uh, if you guys care about the uh, MMO scene or anything like that, he does a very good job on it.